We are aware of many things, but what do we know about the morning? It is a multifaceted response to loss, particularly to loss of someone or something that has died, to which a bond or an affection was formed. It also has physical, behavioral, cognitive, social and philosophical dimensions. It is emotional suffering. Commonly, it is divided in five stages depending on how people deal with the tragedy. First, denial. Second, anger. Third, bargaining. Fourth, depression. And fifth, acceptance. The theory holds that the stages are part of the framework that help people learn to live without what they lost. In these states, individuals believe the diagnosis is somehow mistaken and cling to a false, preferable reality. When the individual recognized that denial cannot continue, they became frustrated, especially at proximate individuals. Certain psychological responses of a person undergoing this phase would be Why me? It's not fair. How can this happen to me? The third stage involves the hope that an individual can avoid a cause of grief. Usually, the negotiation of Bernstein life is made in exchange for a reformed lifestyle. People facing less serious trauma can vary or self compromise. I'm so sad, why bother with anything? I'm going to die soon, so what's the point? I miss my loved one, why go on? During the fourth stage, the individual becomes saddened by the mathematical probability of death. In these states, the individual might become silent, refuse visitors and spend much of the time mournful and soaking. I might as well prepare for it, it's going to be okay, I can fight it. In this last stage, individuals embrace mortality or inevitable future. People dying may precede the survivors in this state, which typically came with a calm retrospective view for the individuals and the stable conditions of emotions. The death of someone loved its part of our lives, independently of how old we are. Many children suffer the loss of their grandparents, uncles, or one of the members of their family much closer to them, like their parents or siblings. For anyone, the loss of someone loved is a difficult situation, but especially for children. Children are dependent and they acquire capacities in a progressive way. In the first years of their lives, they need adults to survive. So for them, the loss of a closely figure is a loss at a vincular level, affective, of cares, security, of protection. They need to know what death is and have information convenient to their age. It mustn't be hidden. On the contrary, it is positive to offer them the possibility of kissing the dead person, going to the funeral or other rituals. Los meses y, y los años, ¿no? Y sigues igual, y sigues igual. A lo mejor llegan las fechas, estas que Months and years, y, and you still the same. Más, and then, when those dates más, arrive, más, those that we know that are special, we get bad, Entonces, sad. These days, más, we cry a lot. But for me, as time goes on, this strong pain I have has gradually become ingratitude to my son. And now, when I speak about him, I remember him with joy. I remember the things he usually did. But now, this doesn't hurt me, and I don't think that's forget. <laughs> The word accept is a difficult word because what's the meaning of accepting? Each person give it a meaning. If you say you don't matter what has happened, this will never occur because you'll never be blissful with what has come to you. You'll never say that. However, if you say that accept is to recognize what has been filled and you are waiting to continue living with the memory of your loved one. If you call this accept, now you can talk about acceptance. While you're thinking that accept is that you don't mind, you'll never say. The soul of the dead will always remain in the heart of the people. My heart's beating like a steamboat again.